Twissy murdered Sissy. Swissy murdered Sissy, the Empress of Austria, Empress Elizabeth, called Sissy. Swissy's murder weapon for the Empress, a metal file with a wooden grip on it, straight in the heart. The smiling killer in Geneva where the Empress got murdered He's not in handcuffs, protected by the Swiss cops, who were totally absent at the time of the murder. How convenient. Eh, Swiss, eh? Sissy, if you turn it around you get Isis. Of course it's the aristocracy of Pharaonic uh, descent. But uh, this, this was a good one, in spite of the name. Both cheated on by their, by their husbands, both, both of the um, royal pacifists and both murdered by Swissy and Octogon. Same destiny and still very much beloved by the people. Well, the Empress got murdered in Switzerland, in the motherland, in, in Geneva where all the NGOs are, not really by an Italian, he was a Swiss product and he was not an anarchist because she was a pacifist and an anti-militarist and an anarchist doesn't kill any pacifist. The murderer was a Swiss product and I'll explain that to you later on. Octagon again. This looks old here. This probably it's wood. It's probably the way the Empress used to take. Yeah. And the castle is here, but it's closed. But well, I'll find a way in. Who cares? It's probably the descendants here, no? Wouldn't be surprised. It says the entrance of the uh, of the palace of the Empress. So here's the main entrance. Some funny symbols here. Uh, where is it now? Uh, there it is. Weird. And of course, there's a lion, the symbol of the aristocracy, and the uh, with some horns, like Isis horns on it. Come on, you stupid. And, uh, yeah, it's a symbol of the, uh, the pharaonic dignity. And, well, the pharaohs became the aristocracy. Okay, what else can I say? Well, here it is. This is the place it is, Bad Ishul. And uh, yeah, all crowns and aristocracy, three hills, Isis, Horus and Set, it's eagles all over, you know, all over Austria and all towns it is there. And here it says, well this is the castle, if I won't make it, you see the castle here. I don't know if you can see it, no, I don't think so. And uh, well it's closed anyway. So, Let's see if we can sneak in somewhere. I suppose that's a castle. Oh, there's a nice sun hieroglyph. Now, of course, there are you know crowns everywhere. I mean, there's the aristocracy, the upper aristocracy. Lions everywhere. There you go. It's part of a line. Oh well. Where are you? There he is. So. Empress Sisi. If you turn around, you get Isis. And uh, I'll tell you some more later. Most people would have given up at the main entrance, but not me. I walked around and I thought, well, I'd dig a hole under the fence. And I found this here. So I'm inside the Emperor's garden. There's nobody here. 
<laughs> Why should there be? <laughs> well, have a look. Of course, it's all oct octagon. It's octagon shape. Uh, I think down there was another one. Wonder who's living there. Descendants. Now this is interesting. At the uh, the land of the empress, there's a sort of a pyramid here. I don't know what it is. Well, I mean they're pharaohs, aren't they? Oh, what an awesome lawn! That would be awesome, you know, to put my tent here in the emperor's garden. Ah. So this was the empress, her, her marble tea house. Look, it's octagon. I think it's, I don't know if it's octagon or hexagon. <clears throat> Would be nice sleeping here as well, eh? So the marble floor here. So that's the Marmor Schlüssel. That's the Empress. Apparently 1865. Empress Sisi Elizabeth. She got murdered in Switzerland by Octagon, by the Templars in the beginning of the 20th century. The Swiss did it, as always. I think she, got, she was very beloved here in Austria, like sort of Lady Diana. You know, they still love her. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Swiss murdered Lady Diana as well. The Templars behind it. It's just an air attack, it's the Allies, I suppose. It's just a bombing raid, don't worry. It's on a Saturday, it probably means shopping time is over. So this is a tea house, you know. Must have been a hell of a teapot if you ask me. Be a house like that. The tea house. Well, and there she probably is with uh, uh, Kaiser Franz Josef. And she was her, her cousin. You know, that's what pharaohs do, you know. It's incest all over. Fuck your mother and your son will be your brother. You know, that's the whole idea. And, um, yeah. Says the Empress. There she is, Pharaohs. Maybe the Swiss weren't weren't invited, you know, for the tea party, so they murdered her. Sort of in Geneva, they murdered her in Geneva. Yeah, the Templars did. Maybe it has to do with the First World War. Maybe the Austrians, you know, maybe they didn't want to join, like, so I murdered them. Murdered in Switzerland. They always got the dirty little fingers in it somehow. So they stabbed her, you know, when she wanted to go into the boat, have a, you know, go on Lake Geneva. Oh, there it is again.
Murdered by Octogon in Geneva. Swissy did it. Maybe you never knew, honey. If you knew what I know now, eh? Oh, today it's such a nice day. Well, let's have the RT outside there, hey? Well, there it is. This is the main palace here. I wonder if I should go there. You know, there's a car standing outside. Maybe I shouldn't. I can see it from here. Somebody on a cell phone from the 19th century or what? So, there's another octagon shaped thing. Or is it hexagon? So, that's the main palace. And, uh, and that's the tea house. For the ladies' gossip, not for the man's ears. Pharaohs, the empress' gossip of the pharaohs. I think I should stay on the high grounds. No. Maybe that's security. It looks like a CIA van. Uh, otherwise I get the same problems like in the uh, the, Herm the Hermann Göring castle in uh, in Zell am See. Same thing. So, Swissy murdered the Empress, you see, in Geneva. I think it was at the beginning of the, uh, the 20th century. Probably had to do with the First World War. Swissy did it again. As always. I mean, they got assassination squads all over the world, as I told you. I mean, I'm, I'm, quite, su I, I'm quite sure they did Lady Diana. I mean, they are the Templars. I wonder what all these funny forms are on the ground. Now there's the grail, meaning our blood is here, we are here, Pharaoh's here, our descendants are here. Now oh, there it is, the sun hieroglyph. I knew I saw that before. There it is, Pharaoh's. All pharaohs. Okay, I got there. That was a nice one. Just exfiltrate now. Well, uh, you know, I'm getting out of here. Oh, actually, I could have gone in here. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that? Well, that's where I'm going to sleep. Apparently the park is so big of the emperors that they they were hunting in it, you know. But you can hear. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm in the Emperor's Garden. I've got one of those 10% nobility beers. There's my tent. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep there. I've got it all set. I'm gonna listen to the radio. And it's interesting, you know. 
they're Swissy and they're Sissy. And in Geneva, Swissy murdered Sissy. Good night. Oh, hello. It's going to be a nice sleep. Well, here I am. I'm Bart Isul. <laughs> How do you like my awesome pronunciation? Having slept in the Imperial Gardens here. That's me sleeping rough in the Imperial Gardens. I had some very weird dreams though, which I normally don't. The dreams were about Swissy murdered Sissy, Empress Elizabeth and Emperor Franz Josef. They hardly talk about him, it's, all, it's always about the Empress, because she was, you know, like Lady Diana, she was quite, uh, quite famous and beloved. Some nice trees here. My royal beer, 10% alcohol. Look, I found some old pottery next to the tea house here of the, uh, of the Empress. I'll probably give it to somebody. I found it where I slept. So, see, this is the tea house. There's the palace. And there's my. There's probably more, like the teapot she was using. Yeah, the same symbols, I think I saw it somewhere, these three things there. I did see it. So, well. Yeah, there it is too. Looks a bit like it. I saw it somewhere else. I think this is also a bit similar. This thing here, only this is four. And these ones are like three. Well, oh well. Oh, I see what it is. That's Jesus on a cross. Here's his hand, you know, his arm. Here's his head, his torso, the hip, the leg, the knee, and here the foot. It's half here, the other half. So this is his right hand. That's Jesus on a cross. At the uh, the Empress uh, Tea House. <clears throat> yeah, that is part of that symbol that I found on the on the pottery. And here, there's octagon everywhere. So this is in the cottage here. And uh, <clears throat> almost looks like a Swiss cross. That's why she got murdered. Uh, she wrote poems about the uh, the Nibelungen. Yeah, so I, t I told you in one of my films that that is pharaonic. It says her name is Sisi. Oh, that's Isis for Elizabeth. 
and um, so she was the uh, the Duchess of she came from Bavaria but she was the cousin of the Emperor Franz Josef yeah and uh, well, yeah so they got engaged in 1853 not very long after the Swiss killed them they were very much in love true love it says she got murdered. That's what I thought at the end of the 19th century. Somebody told me uh, who thought he knew it was uh, she knew it. That was the, uh, the beginning of the 20th century. Right? Then it was in 1898. That's what I thought. There was a an, an Italian an, energy, anarchist, Luigi Luceni. Yeah, in Geneva. Well. This is what Swissy does, you know. They said uh, the the Nazis did it, the Germans did it. They financed them. They said the uh, now they say the Muslims or ISIS again, the Islamic State did it. They financed them through Qatar. Then they said an Italian anarchist did it. They financed them. So this was uh, Octagon, the Templars did it, and she was a very peaceful woman, you know, she didn't want any wars, she liked the nature, making poems, well the whole house, is full, it's all full of poems she made here. They called the mountain, she called the mountain here, her, her magic mountain, this one here. Well it looks like a pyramid, well it's hard to see maybe from this side. But from other, some other side, which I, I filmed before, it, it really looks like a pyramid. So, of course, that's magic for a pharaoh. But I think she was one of the, the better pharaohs, like Lady Diana. And they don't last very long. And those Templars, Swiss Templars, they... Uh, well, they did her. You know, because of the First World War coming up, and she didn't want any wars, you know. And I guess she was the one, you know, uh, telling her husband, you know, having a lot of influence on, on the Emperor. Yeah. I just talked to the, uh, the Croatian gardener here, and he said there's nobody here, they're in Vienna today. Uh, so I'm going to leave that piece of pottery there. So today I'm going to ring. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's it. That's it. All these symbols there, you know, in the, in the lawn. There must be a reason for that. That, that. that looks like the same thing on the pottery. There it is. That's where I saw it. Yeah. And another thing, you know, the, the European world anarchism is from Switzerland, from the Jura Mountains in a place called, well, I can't recall the name now. Um, maybe I'll, but that's where it originates, you know, the, the anarchist movement. So it's all Swiss made anyway, you know, the murder of, uh, of uh, the, the Empress Sissi. Isis the Empress. Um, yeah. It says the Emperor died in November 1916 in the middle of the, the First World War. And it still it belongs here to the Habsburg Lorraine family. And the end of the monarchy was in 1918. So this is what Swiss he wanted. I mean, they, William Tell and all that stuff, you know, and the, the rights of the Templars, they, um, they fought against the Habsburg dynasty. So this was their, their ultimate revenge, you know, to kill the Empress, who might have been, in my eyes here, a nice person like Lady Diana. You know, she didn't want that war. The Templars want war. They wanted the First World War, so she had to go, she had to die. Uh, 
Oh look, there are even fossils in the marble. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, she loved nature, you know, and here she says, I'm so shy. It's not somebody who who would have uh, wanted uh, his or her country to go into the uh, the First World War. You know. So just before they uh, Swissy killed her. Swissy murdered Sissy. It is. Everywhere she talks about the magic mountain, that pyramid mountain there, just behind, just next to it. Here it is, saint -Imier. This is uh, the birthplace of uh, anarchism. Because the uh, Jura, they were annexed by the, uh, by the Swiss in, uh, after the Battle of Waterloo, you know, in 1815. So this is here, this is Jura. They have an independence movement. This is where I live officially. And they had a, um, so there's Boom, where it is, here's Boom. There, Boom. So here is Beel, and there, somewhere, is, uh, <laughs> excuse me, saint -Imier. there it is. A couple of years ago, they had the uh, 100 years <laughs> anniversary of the world uh, anarchism, which is not a bad thing, really. But the sad thing is that the Empress herself was like an anarchist. She didn't really like it, you know, to be in, uh, in the middle of all the... Um, in the middle of, of all of it, you know, she wanted to be like here in, with her magic mountain and her tea house <laughs> and to be a normal person. That's her magic mountain. From some science, it really looks like a pyramid if you look a bit further, you know. And uh, so there's a, a very heavy Swiss connection. So this Italian anarchist who murdered her. As in every organization, the anarchists were, of course, they were infiltrated by Octagon. <laughs> As everything gets infiltrated. Everything, even the German National Socialist Workers' Party, which was, well, it was not a workers' party anymore. So from inside, the, the, her own nobility, the Templars, uh, Sissy got murdered to uh, free the way for the First World War. And again, enormous wealth for Swissy. So there's a very big Swiss connection. saint Imier, the anarchist, this Italian guy. You know, you know, what's an Italian anarchist doing in Switzerland anyway? Well, he went to the... Uh, to saint Imier, of course. And uh, they have a bar there where they have the anarchist uh, center of the world in saint Imier. They came from all over the world a couple of years ago. You can look it up in the web. And uh, well, they, they got manipulated. It's I went there a couple of times, and I can tell you it's entirely infiltrated by the bad ones. Entirely. There's another fossil in the, in the marble here, of Sissy's marble. So there's a, a huge Swiss connection. Octagon, the Templars, First World War coming up, the financing of wars, the center of anarchism in saint Imier, Switzerland, and the murder in Switzerland, in Geneva, of Sissy, the Empress, who didn't really want to be the Empress. She just wanted to be here with her magic mountain. And, um, yeah. I know it all. So if somebody wants to know more of the Habsburg family, well, you can contact me. 
So here at Sissy's marble tea house, it's full of fossils. Yeah, it's hard, it's stone. So that means, here too, that means there's another one. That means a living creature can turn into stone, very hard stone, into marble. So that means too that the pyramids, the granite of the pyramids, has been another could have been another material before. I mean, if a living creature can turn into stone, I mean they built the pyramids. I know they built them with the uh, concrete. You know, they brought the sand up there. And they brought the water up there, that's how they did it. And here's the proof, you know, a living creature can turn into stone. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, it's full of it. Yeah. Fossils. Stone. Hard as stone. A living creature has turned into stone. And there's another one. <coughs> so... I'm going to leave the pottery there with my card. Apparently there's nobody there. They went to Vienna. Uh, so this is the old world order. They got finished in 1918. Really, after the First World War. And um, Sissy had to die to make the First World War possible, because she would never have allowed it. You know, she loved the Meho Magic Mountain, she loved the nature, she didn't like bombs and bombs and guns, and she loved poems and all that. So, this is here where the... Uh, this is part of history where the Old World Order, you know, got replaced with the, by the New World Order. It's funny, we find the same thing in Egypt. Where the, uh, in Karnak, I think. Maybe that's a ma magic mountain. <laughs> Who knows? So that's why they, the New World Order, they the Templars, they murdered Sissy. She was probably too sweet. And another interesting thing, she's from the Royal House of Bavaria, just says um, Himmler, Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, he got, uh, he, he, he got brought up together with the Prince of Bavaria later on, you know, probably not as nice as Sissy was. And I had a very funny dream, you know, related to it. Uh, maybe I'll tell you one day. Sun Euroglyph. Swissy murdered sissy Empress Elizabeth of the huge Austrian Hungarian Empire better known as sissy was a pacifist anti-militarist and against any idea of a world war so she had to go it says in German, she was a pacifist, anti-militarist, 
uh, even a revolutionary, and she wanted to abolish the monarchy. It says, it says the Empress Kaiserin in German. Therefore, Octogon of the Templars and the Sisters of Isis hosted the first anarchist congress, congress in 1866, Geneva, in the motherland of all evil and all NGOs in the Alps, in the hope to find some assassins, so no emperor could stop that huge Horus matrix by cannon fodder on the battlefields for Isis and set on to recreate man into an obedient garden gnome. So I'll just punch pause. I'm going to read that and put it in the links. And indeed, from that date on, the old world order got shaken by a whole series of anarchist assassinations of key figures. It was so much of a success that some more anarchist congresses were hosted by those organized criminals with the country in the Alps in 1872, 1873, etc. in Saint-Imier. And therefore, in 2012, the World Anarchist Congress was held again in Saint-Imier, Switzerland, in Espace Noir. A place I know very well, where real anarchism and intelligent people are ignored, and not very bright, lost souls get moulded into police agitators for octagon and into political assassins for octagon, under the camouflage of leftist anarchism, in fact ordered by the Templars far right, as they found and shaped Luigi Luceni, a resident of Switzerland, born in Paris, France, of an Intel Italian mother, brought up in an orphanage and turned into an anarchist in Octagon, Switzerland. A lost soul elected to murder the Empress in Geneva, Switzerland in 1998, where Swiss police protection was absent at the moment, of course, in order to realize World War one. Here you can see, you know, it's all, it's all in Switzerland, in saint imier Neuchâtel, Switzerland, Bern, Switzerland, and I can tell you, you know, this Switzerland is the most, the, you know, the highest hi hierarchy. You know, it's all in Switzerland. Nobody is alike. You know, anybody, someone who has more money, you know, he's worth more than you know. It's all. N Nobody is alike, and you know, there's absolutely no equality in Switzerland. You know, so it's just it's, it's just a lie. You know, here of Geneva in Switzerland, the first congress in Geneva, in Basel, Switzerland, the fourth congress in the 19th century. This is where it all started. You know, and this is, you know, it's 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 the biggest, the oldest dictatorship in the world. <laughs> well, they don't give a rat's ass for any, you know equality among peoples or you know or anarchist idea not at all nobody in the in the in the whole of switzerland cares about anarchism i tell you it's all a camouflage it's all a setup you know to murder for octagon of the knights templars of switzerland because the swiss are absolutely not like this Neither do they have any real Red Cross or people caring in the NGOs for human rights. There's nothing at all of the kind. It's a place where the financial elites of the whole world is and the, uh, the base of the Templars and all evil. It's not neutral. Well, you know what I mean. And in fact, a real anarchist would never murder a pacifist and anti-militarist that Sissy was. And in fact, she was even more of an anarchist than a Swiss assassin, with an Italian name for camouflage, who got suicided in prison ten years later. A well-known Swiss practice until this very day, to silence up all witnesses, so Swissy could say, well, the anarchist from Italy did it. 
just as only 42 years later, the, the Nazis from Germany did it, or today Islamic State did it. Never the Swiss did it. They never did anything, you know. They're so neutral and so innocent, you know, and and, and so honest, yeah. Then, a whole lot of Swiss anarchist murders happened to enable World War I. In 1900, Italian King Umberto I got assassinated by a Swiss-formed anarchist. In 1901, US President McKinley got murdered by a Swiss-formed anarchist, and a whole long list of many others. So the Old World Order started hiding in the secret Mason New World Order. So here you can see the whole list of it. Uh, just punch pour so you can read it all. Assassination plots and assassinations on, on the aristocracy. You know, having so here's Elizabeth, of course, here by Luigi Luceni in Geneva, and uh, here the Italian king, he was also a uh, an anarchist. You can all look it up, you know, if you, if you punch this one here. And uh, it all started from the moment on the, uh, the anarchist congresses in Switzerland started off. You know, that's where it all started. Actually, we had the, the US president somewhere. Yeah, William McKinley by Leon Kogosh. Well, if you look it up, you know, you can, you can find in, in Wikipedia. Oh, he says here, he's an, he was an, an, an anarchist. No, he was in Switzerland too. They all were. And there, here. The Umberto. And, um... If you look it up in, in uh... Here, it says, an anarchist. Again. A whole list. And it all started with those Swiss... Um... Congresses. Anarchist congresses. Well, they don't, they don't give a rat's ass about anarchists anyway. It was all, you know, to um, to enable World War One. Well, and here World War One started. You see the whole list, and it goes on and it goes on. I tell you, Swissy always got the dirty little fingers in it everywhere. And of course, here the last assassination, just of the uh, the Erzherzog Franz Ferdinand. Uh, by Gavrilo Princip in Sarajevo, which started off the World War I. So, they achieved their goal. Both World Wars were Swiss-made by Octogon, with both Hitler and the German war warmonger Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II visiting Ulrich Wille Senior and Junior, as the Swiss have always been the killers for the aristocracy, and for the Pope, with the Swiss octagon of the Templars and their Swiss mercenaries leading to that widespread saying in the medieval Central Europe, saying, Dear God, protect us from the plague and from the Swiss. So here you can see the Emperor visiting uh, Zurich in 1912. And this is how the Swiss media and the Swiss, how they called him. They called him the Messiah from Berlin. Well, what do you know? The Messiah from Berlin. You know, making Switzerland rich, eh? So here he is, Ulrich Wille Senior, the general. And uh, the warmonger from Germany, the guy who gave the order, you know, to uh, for World War II, uh, one. Wilhelm II, the Emperor from Germany, he even visited him at home. Just like, you know, not only, you know, in 1923, ten years later, 
Adolf Hitler, he visited his son Ulrich Wille Jr., also a general, and who financed Mr. Hitler. And that was only 10 years or a little bit more after they murdered the Empress Sissy. And it's all, it's all related. You know, the aristocracy, they kill people, you know, among each other to enable a world war. And it's always Switzerland, you know, behind it. I'm putting in the links for you. It says how Ulrich Wille, how he honored the, uh, the emperor. I'll put in the links for you as well. The warmongers in Switzerland. The warmongers of Switzerland. And this is why Sissy had to die. Just that this happened a little bit later. Also in Switzerland. And there he is, Swissy. Uh, probably also behind the murder on Sissy. Married to Gräfin von Bismarck. This is the aristocracy, the fair aristocracy. Sissy was indeed Austria's Lady Diana, against wars and cheated upon by her husband through his multiple sexual conquests and endless affairs. And I have no doubt that Swissy and the Octagon also terminated Diana by the Boston Breaks, just as they did with Sissy. The two Queen of Queens, both of them still loved and honoured by their people. The Swiss always have their dirty little fingers in it. Bye bye, sissy. I'm so sorry for what they did. So here we are in the place called Warp, where the uh, the Laura Bush family is from, from Gravenried. So somewhere, and here we see, see the Sun hieroglyph. So that's down here in the village, even in the old farmhouse houses. So here are the descendants of the pharaohs. And up there somewhere, uh, we see a lot of chemtrails there, uh, the, uh, is the castle. Of course uh, a lion here on the hotel, the symbol of the aristocracy and the uh, pharaonic dignity. Where they of course the descendants of the, uh, they're sort of a pyramid, descendants of the aristocracy live down here. And uh, you know, Nazi-like writings here. And we're going up there to the castle. And here is another sun hieroglyph. I used to know some people here. Uh, there was an American living here. And here another sort of Nazi-like symbol with the Swiss Templars cross in the middle. There you can see on the Swiss car, everywhere Swiss is putting up the uh, the Templar's flag. And here again, that hotel. And here the lion, symbol of the aristocracy, has a, a coat of arms with a Templar's cross in it. And here we're going up here. And there's that castle of uh, with the Bush legacy, uh, Laura Bush. And also related to some senators and where the American Embassy went to. And there's the town of uh, Warp, like in Warp Speed. Some rich Swiss, fancy cars. Yeah. And the sphere, 
just in front of the United Nations in New York, the Vatican, spheres. It's probably the world domination. So there's the name of the place, Warp, like in Star Trek. And here's a Schloss, it means castle. And there, the, uh, the ancestors of the ones in the White House in America. And maybe also the Obama fellow. Uh, it's also Swiss related. So there's the world domination. Of course, it's all pharaonic next to the castle. And you're going up to the castle. And there's the castle, the Swiss American castle. Oh, there it is. Apparently, they get a lot of visitors from the US of the descendants of the ones who are ruling the US and all key positions. There's the Sun Hieroglyph, of course pharaohs, they're here. As the pharaohs became the aristocracy and they're still here, now they're the Freemasons, just hiding away from us. And this is also related to the uh, descendants of Senator Charles Robb, who is again uh, related to President Johnson and of course the uh, the ancestors of uh, First Lady uh, Laura Bush with that Swiss look. Here's another Sun Hieroglyph and here's another one. So actually here is the origin of the Patriot Act in Switzerland because this is typical Swiss style. Uh, total dictatorship. They, did, they have done the same thing in Europe already and now they're going to do it in the US, already doing it. So then here on this video, uh, on the same channel here, Chatsy Frets, you'll find more uh, intel about this castle here I just showed you uh, and how it is connected to the ones ruling the US in Washington. Senators, presidents, first ladies, you, know, you name it. And there, you're from here, from Warp, which is not very far from Toon, where I was in the newspapers, you can see the Alps. Yeah. So this is, uh, there's some more there, this is uh, March 2015. So there's the Alps, that's where they rule humanity from, oh yes. That's of course the grain, that means our seed is here, the pharaohs are here, our descendants are here. And there too, the grail, meaning our blood is here, our genetics are here, and how we rule the US. And uh, this is where the US Embassy went to. That looks octagonal maybe. It's always the outlook post octagonal, I'm not really sure. Well, up there's the castle, and uh, I'll show you the skull and bone signs I saw here. Well, this is where skull and bones is from originally. It's all Templar stuff in Switzerland. The skull of death, it was a death order. An order of death, bringing death to others. Just like the Nazi Templars. It's still the same thing. Huh? Uh, it's another Swiss, they're always nosy, want to know everything. So there's Wolf Castle, Laura Bush, Charles Rob. Definitely octagon, octagonal. I mean that's the outlook post. Uh, the military wing looking out. Who's coming in, who's getting out, who's not getting out anymore? Creepy stuff here. So I see a little path here. Oh, let's go in there. Old American car. I don't know what it is. I 
rich Swiss, the entrance to the castle. So before you come in, you know, there's everywhere Le Fleur d'Alice, the symbol of the aristocracy. Just as on the White House, as I told you before, which is the, the Nile Lily, but it's also the three, the Holy Trinity for the Pharaohs, like Horus, Isis, Horus and Seth. And the big one, of course, is Seth, the, uh, the Lord of Darkness, with his two pupils. And uh, very much related to the Horus Matrix. So there's the octagon. It's not a coincidence, you know. And uh, not too bad, it's closed. Last time I was here, it was open, so I can't show you the skull and bones. Too bad, yeah. Oh, look at that hand. Freemasonry, you see? Uh, and the shell. It's all occult stuff. They're the ones ruling the US with a crown, I think, on it. Pharaoh. And around the corner on the right hand side is the skull and bone side. Oh, I'll come back another time. That's interesting. I get the same thing, you know, by the of the police, you know, like registered mail. So uh, it's interesting why they get it, you know. Afterwards they can probably send it to their Freemason brothers and uh, so they put it in a dark in a dark cupboard and never hear anything of it again. Probably about child molesting. Something like that, eh? Well, that's really too bad. I would have liked, you know, to show you the... Uh, uh, ah, the skull and bones. It's too bad. It's closed there. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Well, what do you know? It says uh, there was an exposition. Burn in USA. <laughs> Burn in the White House, you mean? That was 1991. Well, that's the first Gulf War. No? Funny symbols. Why did why they put this thing on top of the A? Like on top of the pier? Oh, that's the umlaut. Okay. Yeah. Why do you even put it here? All this. I'm very sorry, folks. It's closed. Oh, I hear some, somebody. Let's go. Oh, let's ring the bell. Probably not going to like that. Ah, look. There you go. Come on, mistress. <laughs> English? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to shout, you know. Um. Yeah. Oh, look, the door is going open automatically. Wow. She just pushed the button. Relatives here? No, no, no. Oh, no. oh you just came by yourself. But I know my ancestors came from, you know, from Egypt, you know, mm -hmm. the pharaohs, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I know a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. How from, long are you staying grandpa. in Switzerland? Um, I, just after I go to Interlaken. Uh-huh, yeah, yes. everybody goes to Interlaken. Uh, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, as, as a pharaoh, you know, I know I don't belong to the commoners, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what no, I mean? No, but uh, it, it interests me because, um, yes, there are still the Grafen in Bern. Yes. Quite a big family. Oh, well, I don't think they've got time for me because I'm I'm a very distant, mixed, you know. And yes, yes. Good. Take your photos. I yeah. get dressed. Thank you very much. Because I have a appointment. That yes. Has to go. Thank you, my lady. Bye bye. So, where was it? Uh, there was a scar. Oh, they took it away. It's not here anymore. So. Of that is. So I rang the bell and oh, that's Isis, of course. 1273. Switzerland was founded in 1291, so they were just before that, they were here during the Crusades. There's the sun hieroglyph, of course. Yeah, the airplane. Sure, if we can see that. Oh. Some funny symbols here. Well, let's have a look where the. In 
dressing table. I wonder what they did there. Yeah. So the hand, that's the hidden hand, you know, is a, it's the, what the Freemasons they always stuff under their jacket, you know, like Napoleon. Uh, it, 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 look, it appears to be the right hand. The right hand, that's the hand with which you kill or with which you do things, you know. So that makes sense. That means you hide what you're going to do. You just smile to the people, you know, like the Freemasons, like in the White House. And uh, just by surprise, say, cuckoo, now you're gone. Uh, but damn, I don't see that skull and bones anymore. I think they took it off. Yeah, 1699, another part. Oh, look at it. Oh, no. Oh, look at the child molester. No, here it is, the thing I, I put on the end. Look, look, this. The torturing the child. Yeah, look at it, the Swiss child molesters. This is what I already put on the, uh, on the internet, you know? Look at it, you know? That's what they do. The Masons and the, the Pharaohs and the Freemate and the, and, the, and the aristocracy and all that. They do child molesting, torturing the child. This is what I showed, I told you in the, in the O2T, uh, the torture method, you know, to lift the soul out. And here it is, you know, it's all rusty. <laughs> it's so obvious. <laughs> you can all see it, you know. They sort of don't even, they say, well, no, well, you know. So obvious, where's the other? Uh, poor child, poor thing. I fear they did the same sort of things with my son. You know, sitting on a throne. Look, the king, the, 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 the lord is sitting here. And the Swiss octagon, look, they're doing it. Killing the people, you know, and torturing them. Look, and there's another body of another child lying here. Oh, my God. Look at it. They don't even hide it, you know. And, uh... See, they, they took away the skull. I wonder where this is going up. Oh. I just told her I'm from, I'm, off, I'm from the bloodline, you know. What does it say? Some Latin. Naman Daini Gloriam. Well, that's some Templar stuff. Roris. Chains. And what did they do with the skull? And here on my other channel, Gure, there's more intel about how they lift out the soul and you can see them practically doing the same thing with a baby as we just saw uh, at the castle. And if I saw it good, you know, I, um, I think they had a, uh, a, a Muslim hanjar or a round, a round sword, which is very interesting because, you know, all this, this pharaonic stuff, it, well, it's not European in the first place, it's all from the Middle East these pharaohs and uh, so now they have their Middle Eastern base called Switzerland of the pharaohs Octogon so in this video on Gure about the code O to T torture lifting out the soul for satanic ritual um, I, there's more uh, uh, intel information uh, on how they do these rituals and how exactly uh, what techniques they're using and we just saw the uh, the proofs here uh, in the castle here in Boom, which is related to the White House in Washington and the ones ruling America. So, well, you know what they're doing then, eh? And uh, so this is actually uh, where the, um, the Freemasons, they have these sort of things from, from the aristocracy, which they are, in fact. They all are aristocrats from a higher level on. And... Um, all the, arist the arist 
Huh. That's an old door. Living at number three, the Holy Trinity. There's the pyramid. They took the skull away. I was here once, I don't know, maybe eight years back, and there was this skull and bones, and it's gone. What's the flag saying? I don't see it with the sun. It's got a V in it, of course. Who's in the coffin? Sar Coffages. Those are uh, reptilians. So, in the meantime, they took the skull away. Maybe I still have a picture of it. I think, yes, I'm, I'm quite sure I took a picture. Let's see if I can find that still for you. Rings, we always find them. It's a sort of a sunny aeroglyph. You remember that castle in France? And they, they always show that. Oh, there are the Alps. You know, this is where they are hiding away after the Crusades. And this is where the Pharaohs came to. Uh, who can come here? Yeah, you know, it's so bad that the skull is gone. Um, so this is right around from where we're living, actually. It's a, it's a, oh, ten minute drive. So I'm sorry, folks. Oh, I'll go down the, my ancestral staircase. I presented it to the lady. Oh yeah, look at that. There's an animal there. But at least I found that. I didn't see that the other time. Oh. Well, you, you only see things if you're standing like up somewhere. It looks like a wolf, but I suppose it's the bear. John's bear. So this is the land of the bear. Yeah. It's a bear. And there's an axe here. And, uh, well, I'm sorry folks, I looked about uh, at least, at least three or four times and I didn't see the uh, skull and bones anymore. They really took it off. Yeah. Maybe because of me. And I think it was here somewhere on the wall. So the lady said I can, uh, I can switch the, uh, here, the, the thing here and the door goes open. Is it going to open? I don't know. I think she pushed something. No, that's probably this one here. 2FL, 1FL, what does that mean? Oh, there it goes. See, like in a James Bond movie. In the Alps, where the snow is. Oh. So how much time do I have? Hey. You see, there's a little obelisk on top as well. Oh. Let's be quick now. So, so I have to go through all my photographs and find that skull and bones. So now let's have a look from the other side. So I wonder how deep the pond is here. Next to a castle there's always a sort of a pond, you know. 
Um, must be for Isis. And the obelisk is for Horus. So here's another way going down here. Another look here. So then again, here's the castle. And uh, the magic pond. And all the roots going down in it. Old stones. They're always so smart fellas, you know, they're always sitting next to where the water is. And the lady passed by with her BMW convertible. <laughs> I bowed to her, you know, put one arm like like this, like you know, on my chest here, and uh, bowed. So uh, this is the apparently the new castle. Have a look. Oh, it looks pretty close. Oh, let's put the camera over there. Have a look. Oh, see anything? Oh, I don't. <laughs> I think. Horses. Look in every village. Swiss have a shooting range everywhere. I don't think they do anything, you know, to protect the people. Just as they had children slaves here until 1989, and uh, nobody stood up to save one of those poor children, and they sterilized by force until 1996, and uh, nobody ever stood up for them. So what's the use of it? Run, you Swiss! will get you. Oh, there's the other castle. I suppose the old ladies, you know, they're living like there. They're here, they're living here with their families. Let's have a look what they do when I just walk in here. Yeah, oh, there's the castle. Neuschloss, you see? That means Newcastle. Like in England, Newcastle. Another Newcastle. Oh. So, uh, is that bell to ring like the other one? It was a double gate. One for the parking lot. And already all these, all the spears on top of it, like entering Zulu country. Zulu time, you yeah. know. So there's the, uh, of course, the world domination. I don't see anything. The world domination, that means we are here. There's the joining. On the door, uh, Johnny. I, I don't see anything more here. Uh, a crown, and uh, uh, some more stuff there. Can't see it with the sun in my eyes. So that's the new castle, Neuschloss. That's where they're living with their families today. Right? So another electric door. Probably. And the big part is of course behind. There's the other side of the new slice. Wouldn't be surprised that descendants are living here as well, you know. The ones who are more like distant. Like me, of course. I'm a distant relative, you know, like from New Bern. And uh oh yeah. You know, there's the grail on it with the grain on top of the building, so you can't miss it. The grain there, that means our descendants, our grains are here with the, our blood is here with the grain. Oh, I showed them many times already. So, these are our rulers. And they rule the White House, as you, as you saw in my other movie about Laura Bosch. So, Hello, you speak English? A little bit. Ah, are you opening up? Can I have a look there? Uh, no, huh? it's private. 
I'm a descendant from America, you know, yeah. distant, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but no. Are you afraid? Afraid? Yes. Are they gonna hit you when you let me in? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Oh dear, oh no. dear. This uh, woman. Yes? It's really, uh, oh, shit. it's private. Dangerous, yeah, dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. dangerous. Oh man. Uh, for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, these are the Freemasons, you know. Yeah. Shit, man. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to give you any problems, you know. Yeah. When it was my, I say, come on, come in, and yeah. no problem. Yeah. But, but you're just a servant yeah, uh, of the aristocracy of the king. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you, where are you from? Well, I'm a, I'm a descendant from here, you know, but uh, well, that's a long story. Do you know any secrets? What they, you know, what's happening here? I don't know. Any stories going on? Do, do they kill children here? Or? <laughs> no, 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 huh? no, no. Oh, in the other, in the other castle, I saw how they there was a shield in metal, mm -hmm. how they um, how they kill children and how they child molesters, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pedophiles, you know? No, okay. They show it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the aristocracy mm -hmm. was always doing this, you know. Uh, can I see it? <laughs> uh, a, a bit to the side, then there's the other. So. Or, a bit here, uh, okay. there. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. So about the noblesse. Okay. Yeah? Noblesse. Um, wait a minute. Uh, when it says ping, I'm on. Okay. So. Yeah, okay. I'll let you go, man. And of course, through this uh, castle and the uh, the nobility, the pharaohs, through the prime noctis or the first right, the entire population here they have uh, uh, more or less uh, in Switzerland more than less the. Uh, the pharaonic genetics and the ones who have very little of it you know they can farm the land and get brown as the other one said you know not as these vampires la di noble blesse the white nobility <laughs> so true excellent and of course uh, the ones who got a little bit more like 50 percent they can be the police and the knights and the uh, the ones maybe 70%, they can be the low nobility and so forth and so on. And in Switzerland, the rate, you know, the percentage of pharaonic genetics in the blood because of these guys here is very, very high. And that's why they are entitled to rule America in Washington. And they do, believe me. Absolutely. They're smiling to you, as the Swiss do. And in Washington, you know in your face, smiling through their teeth. And when you don't look, as we saw on, the, on the, that sh rusted shield, they rape your children and do some sacrifice with them. Typical Switzerland. Yeah. And this is actually the reason why, I, why uh, Freemasons, one all key positions on the world, they actually still do child sacrifices today because of these guys here, the aristocracy, and they are pharaohs. And the pharaohs already in the Bible, they were the bad ones, and they still are. And this is their base, you know. That's, this is their base. Octogon, in the Alps. There are the Alps, Octogon. It's all over. That's a, All Alps. The castle, and there's the town of Warp, as in Warp Speed, I suppose. <clears throat> I think we're from there somewhere. Or from there, I don't know. That's where the commoners live, with a high percentage of pharaonic genetics. The Swiss caves. Nazi gold. All crimes against humanity. These ones here, <laughs> they rule the US, that's for sure. The castle in the Alps, 
on top of the world. Literally. Swiss servants. Satan's seed. Laura Bush's her castle and President Johnson and Senator Robs. The world is being dominated by Octogon. Before I come to the subject of satellite imagery and the all-seeing eye in the sky, the one on the dollar and the New World Order watching us all, I'd like to tell you that I read all your comments of all you good people, in spite of the fact that YouTube won't let me answer the comments, nor have me receive personal messages because of that Google Plus thing. But my email address is in my channel for the ones who really want to get organized and team up. And if you want to use all the information I've given you all about the Swiss Nazi Templars, Octagon Pharaohs, the Pharistocracy, etc., and write a book about it, in a magazine or make a film, then it's okay with me. Just leave me the honor and announce that I gave, you, gave that to you. Maybe you can make a good buck by writing a book about this information or make money by putting my vids and info in the internet and earn good money through the business publicity going with that, as many already do. And I don't mind, because it's my gift to humanity and showing where the real base of evil really is. So one day you can do something about it, as no government ever will. As for myself, I've lost anyway. I'm 52 years old and the Swiss Nazis will kill, kill me soon anyway. I would just like a better financial situation in peace and security for my kids. There's a trial coming up against the crimes against humanity by the Swiss state and the Swiss Nazi people in a European country where I filed an official complaint at the European court and Swissy will kill me before, just as they did with uh, Roger Fankhauser in prison, short before his appeal case concerning that violet, violent, corrupt cop Hans Rudolf Kuni of the Nazi center of Burgdorf. So whenever you'd make a good buck with my information, I would never claim any of it. I would shake your hand and say, well done because there are far greater issues at stake beyond the physical realm and the, the financial dream, or should we say financial nightmare. Just leave me the honor, that's all I ask. And in fact, I already wrote that book, but not in English, and never found a publisher anyway. So you all go and write that book in any language you like, because I just want a future in justice for humanity and my children. No God is going to do it for us, because God is not our servant, but we are His servants, if there is a thing called God at all. So I all go write that book and get rich, so at least the New World's Order won't get that money. I'm good with that, you hear? And make sure you repeat that Octogon Switzerland, one hell of a lot of times in there. Just as Lil Wayne and his Swiss connections are repeating a hundred times, Can you see now? Can you see now? Can you see now? In that new world order, dumbed down, brainwashed, no music. Swiss servants, Satan's seed. We've all been wondering how it's possible whenever our Muslim brothers committed a bloody attack against some New World Order agitators, as in the case of the Paris attacks, and more recent on some racist caricaturists, how quick the Octagon authorities and the media propagandists knew within hours who'd done it, their names, where they lived, where they were at, and closed the case for good with a 9 mil between the eyes and witnessed up the case, if you know what I mean. Of course there never were any miraculous IDs found, crime investigators creating the obvious trail themselves, 
This octagon lie was told to hide the real technique they use in order to not keep new perpetrators off any possible new actions for the obvious political factors of establishing the entire new world order. Octagon police state consolidate in increase through every new so so-called terrorist attack. Because if the perpetrators would really know how hopeless the getaway part of the operation actually is in reality, nobody would ever dare any more terrorist attack. And this is what the authorities and enemy within wants to avoid at all cost for the obvious reason of setting up their total control reign of evil through the political afterplay. So how do they do it then? Since ancient times on the church, in religious books and maybe in the Bible, I don't know, on the dollar at Omaha Beach in Normandy, as I filmed it for you, everywhere there has been talk of the all-seeing eye up there and related to the reign of evil and total control. And now the moment has come that this revelation, threat and dream of evil, of an all-seeing eye in the, in the sky by drones and satellites, Controlling humanity has finally come true with no less than 8,000 satellites constantly buzzing over our heads and filming every square inch of the earth day and night, flying lower than that notorious U-2 spy plane and with far more enhanced tele-objectives with thermal imagery, infrared imagery technology attached to it, um, attached to huge NSA computer programs for computer run-throughs as incredible enhancement and myriads of other programs making a civil satellite see objects of 45 centimeters on earth and military NSA satellites recognize objects of the size of a, of a one dollar coin lying in the street during night time therefore the NSA often called the National Satellite Agency Working closely together with NASA, therefore almost having the same name, NSA, NASA. And um, you can even see their taillights flying over in the night. So here is the official logo of the NROC, the National Reconnaissance Office Center. <laughs> and before at the beginning of this uh, video I showed you the information awareness office so this is official and they use this old symbol of the pyramid you can see that the all-seeing eye and the satellite of the NROC they are on the um, on this official um, authority logo with which they control humanity so this revelation has come true. It's all related with the Masons and of course Octagon from the Alps ruling over us. So here you can see the NROL, also National Reconnaissance Office. And you can see the Octopus or Octagon having the Earth and humanity in a tight Octagon grip. Symbols don't lie, folks, and this is now. So before any of you brave Muslim warriors do another attack on the New World Order, just know you'll have very little time to pray to Allah afterwards, because Octagon will just rewind the images from the all-seeing eye in the sky, from, from the point of clash, and rewind the data to see where you came from, where you live, who you are, while another team looks at where you're going to and where you are, and then send in the drones for a closer look. Of course, there are no more tapes to rewind, but 
just a memory bank related to a spe specific set of computer programs of the octagon that will follow the tango all by itself. This is the Star Wars program or SDI Strategic Defense Initiative already announced by US President Ronald Reagan in the 80s and not against other militaries but against all us humans of this earth. So here you can see the satellite with the three dots for Isis, Horus and Seth of course. They always got the occult in there. So here we can see the strategic, the, uh, the SDI or Strategic Defense Initiative by Ronald Reagan in 19 March 23, 1983 with the, uh, the logo again. And because of this, we have now the NROC, the National Reconnaissance Office Center and the Information Awareness Office and all the drones and uh, well, there's no getaway anymore, it's not possible. So, and it's not, you know, not really for a ballistic missile defense or something, you know, it's against humanity. It's the all-seeing eye in the sky, and it has become, it has come true now. Then, when they had it all set in place, the, uh, the satellite surveillance of humanity, that Bush fella in the 19s, uh, got the green light from their base Octagon in the Alps to announce the accomplishment of the New World Order. And he did it on 9-11-1990. So that was September the 11th, 1990. They had it all set in place, so he said, well, now we got the New World Order. Then the other Bush afterwards, an all-speaking Swiss-German in their Yale Lodge, Skull and Bones Grove, announced the Patriot Act. All set in place by the all-seeing eye, watching every step we take and every step we have taken, kept in computer files for 100 years. So President George W. Bush, the son, also married a woman of the Alpine bloodline and, as many believe, reptilian. First Lady uh, Laura Bush, a descendant of the Swiss pharaonic nobility of uh, Christoph von Grafenried, who took the very first Swiss sleeper cell to North Carolina in 1705, and through the German Palatines, just as General Costas and Obama's Swiss ancestors passed through, a route many Swissies took on their way to conquer the U.S. and all on all key positions now, as it is the, key, the case today. And uh, in Switzerland, I've seen many women doing this sort of a face here in Switzerland, especially the ones in power, like uh, authorities. They sort of give the authority look. This is the Swiss authority look. I I've, seen, I've seen this many times, and I wondered long, long, long before I saw this face here, which, which is a Swissy face. I mean, this is von Grafenried. This is the typical look of the Swiss Sisters of Isis that gave the name to Switzerland. Suisse Sœur d'Isis, Schwitz Schwester Isis, Switzerland, Swissyland. The typical look of the Sisters of Isis. I've seen this so many times here. So here you can read it. It's not only Bush himself who's uh, of Swiss descent, you know, but it's also... Uh, this lady here, with whom he got married, here it says. The paternal ancestor Christo Christopher de Grafenried, or von Grafenried, actually, uh, which is a German name of the, of the arist uh, in Germany, the, uh, the aristocracy, they all have a von. Born in Bern, Switzerland, and uh, nine. So th this is a very important ancestor, you know, who's setting all the other ones just aside, you know, this is so predominant. Uh, this is the aristocracy, the pharisocracy, the Swiss pharaohs, this is octagon. And here in Wikipedia, they're actually trying to hide it, where she was, where she's really from. They say she is of English ancestry. <laughs> no, well, no. And, uh, yeah, just as Bush, they just hide it.
were they really from? So this is not English ancestry. Here you can read some more in the Swiss center of North America, the Swiss roots culture. Uh, about von Graf, von, here it says, von Grafenried. And he led a group of Swiss and German religious refugees to North Carolina to found New, New Bern. Well, here it started, eh? And uh, this is the ancestor of uh, Laura Bush. And that's why they speak Swiss German in the Skull and Bones uh, Lodge. And all is. And here's an interesting book. Unfortunately, it stops. Uh, it's not on it. It's not published on the pages which are really in, where it gets really interested. But here it's Bush. And it talks about the family ancestry of Bush in Switzerland by a Swiss, uh, well, a Swiss American called Delbert Richard. And um, it even shows the. Uh, the castle, which I filmed in the uh, in the Pharaoh show, so apparently Bush is even related to that very castle in the Pharaoh show, this Templar's castle. And here's some more about Laura Bush, her ancestor, Swiss ancestor, Christo Christoph von Grafenried, and um, so it's Swiss, Swiss German from both sides, Bush and Laura Bush. And here they talk about the other castle. That there was his castle in Vop. Uh, and well, I will tell you what happened there. And this is in the in the windows here, all sort of coat of arms and all sort of. You know, if if I have a closer look at it, you know, I'll find more things. And here's a list of famous Americans of uh, German and Swiss German uh, descent. You probably find uh, a lot more in there, but uh, let's have a look at Mr. Bush. Where are you, W? Why, well, there he is. Swiss German. And here, well, I showed you this Swiss German. Yeah. And if you just punch in L Laura Bush von Grafenried, here, yeah, von Grafenried, Laura Bush. There's a lot more coming out, you know, the uh, in Wikipedia, the uh, von Grafenried and the uh, the wife of George Bush, and here, Mrs. Laura Bush, the first lady of the United States, and uh, ancestry of Christopher the Graf Grafenried, and uh, it, w it was even in the newspaper here, Laura Bush von Grafenried. It was in the Zurich newspaper. Verwandtschaft. That means. Um, Related to the Swiss nobility, there it says, First Lady Laura Bush von Grafenried. Well, it's all over. I filmed the von Grafenried name in the Templars Castle in my video, The Pharaoh Show, and here in 2010, the, the, the US Embassy in Bern officially went to visit the Christoph von Grafenried Castle in Worp. As not only Laura Bush is related to that Swiss bloodline, but also Senator Charles Robb, who is also related to President Johnson, and so on and so on and so forth. You see, this is the Embassy of the United States in Bern, in Switzerland. Von Grafenried descendants visit Warp Castle. Linda Robb, daughter of former US President Lyndon B. Johnson. Well, they're all Swiss. So you can read it all yourself. So this is under Obama, uh, Linda Robb, and, and President this and President that. Yeah. Uh, all the ancestry from Switzerland. Uh, it's all one club. I went there once to that castle. Do you think that would do it for you, for your Irish ancestry? Go to Ireland and or your Italian ancestry? No, I don't think so, eh? I went once to that von Grafenried castle, an ans uh, ancestor of Laura Bush, and it's full of skull and bone, bone symbols. So now you understand why Swiss German is being spoken at the Yale Skull and Bones Lodge. 
and why Grandfather Prescott Bush dealt with the Nazis. <laughs> because they're all octogon Nazi Templars from the Alps in Switzerland who ruled the US and Mr. Hitler. He was financed through Switzerland as well. It all comes together. Von Grafenried, Laura Bush, Bush, Bush himself, they speak Swiss German, Hitler financed by Gen Swiss General Ulrich Wille. It's all Swiss linked. They gave all the orders, they organized it. And here the other one, Barbara Bush, uh, the mother of W. It says early life, and she's related to Franklin Pierce, the 14th president of the United States. <laughs> it's all one big Swiss family. Switzerland rules the U.S. with a sleeper cell of currently one million Swiss Americans in the U.S. See my other videos for that, like Swiss sleeper agents in the U.S. Here, yeah, one million people with Swiss, Swiss roots in the United States. They are in all key positions. So this is on Swiss Info. You all know I'm not religious and don't believe in any God. But damn, it's all coming true what has been written in the book of Revelations in the Bible 2000 years ago. The chip under the skin, on your forehead, ha head or hand, to pay with. The beast with seven heads and ten horns, or Octogon Switzerland with seven heads of state and ten ministries. The 666 I filmed for you at the Omaha Beach Satanic Ritual, U.S. Cemetery War Memorial, and the all-seeing eye in the sky. They can look back into time by rewinding the all-seeing eye satellite imagery tapes, as in that Denzel Washington film Deja Vu. Or here, in this case, where a 19-year-old Swiss, especially for the occasion, drove to Germany with his $300,000 Ferrari, parked it in an immigrant neighborhood to blame the foreigner for his assurance fraud, just as Swiss always does in Switzerland, traditionally trying to blame immigrants for all Swiss he made crimes. And then had two Albanian accomplices blow up his $300,000 Ferrari in the night with no witnesses at all and nobody seeing it. Except the all-seeing eye in the night with thermo imagery just rewi rewinding the tapes back into, into the motherland in the Alps all the way back to the front doors in Zurich, Switzerland the home of all perfect crimes, invisible to all. And of course young Swiss Ferrari boy will be protected and the two Albanians receive the max load. As in Switzerland the immigrant always takes it all for what Swiss he in fact committed. Here in Octogon Switzerland there's a pedophile case after pedophile case without end. And the perpetrators are always Swissies and never get punished for it. Therefore, for us immigrants, the Swiss people are a people of child molesters or Schweizer Kinderficker, with a very long tradition too, as they did until 1989 and massively raped the defenseless kids with the help of the Swiss corrupt Justice Department and the Swiss Nazi police. Who kidnapped the children from their parents in a highly organized way to bring them to their rapists and they very well knew it. Why? Well, this is part of the Horus Matrix of the Sisters of Isis, where the name Switzerland derives from, in order to break certain souls who are too intelligent and too strong, so they have to be broken to create obedient Swiss garden gnomes out of, out of them, for set on, the Egyptian Lord of Darkness, with on being a pharaonic uh, adjective meaning in the function of. It said, 
pedophile on the run. Yeah, pedophile on the run. So th this, this is only a few actual newspaper articles recently. It, it's really, it's too much. It's every day. It's, it's several cases, like Swissy's here on the run. They only talk about pedophiles only, you know, it's, 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 it's all the time. So I'll just show a couple of them. And just like drugs, pedophilia is wanted. And as I've shown you in this previous video, the Swiss police does nothing against it. And they always say that they don't have enough manpower and not enough laws. Because their aim is to have more of these creatures in uniform so they can parasite on us and don't work and have total control over mankind. Thus using crime as a goal to achieve total control over mankind. Without police, we the people would solve the drugs and pedophile problem within 48 hours. But you don't want to go to prison, right? So, this was a teacher. He was giving the boys, uh, helping the boys with their, with their homework. And giving them beer and... You know. Oh man, this country is so sick. It's so sick. These people are so incredibly sick. So, to enable more violence against children, and because Swiss police isn't doing anything anyway, a few years back, Swissy even officially made incest. incest legal. You can read it. Switzerland is considering a, a, a repeal its incest laws to make sexual relations between family members legal. Well, this is Switzerland, eh? We've got nothing better to do. It says uh, many uh, children, they were kidnapped from their families as I told you, by the Swiss Nazi police, um, together with the Swiss uh, fascist justice department, they forced sterilizations upon them, and um, and they were abused, so raped, child molested. So Switzerland has a very long tradition, and it's not only 700 victims; it's it's hundreds of thousands over hundreds of years it's uh, it's incredible things going on here and this is this i showed her before the the swiss justice minister very sly you know how she calls it rape and pedophilia she calls it forced welfare can you believe that you know so the swiss justice minister zomaruga officially called the rape on defenseless Swiss children slaves or the Verdingkinder you can find it in the internet she called it forced welfare well, can you believe that forced welfare a typical sisters of Isis using typical Swiss terminology for the foreign newspapers to make rape slavery and pedophilia look harmless forced welfare well, you better not ask Swissy the name for childcare or the word for true love. You just wouldn't dare anymore, would you now? So you can read the whole article. So there was in uh, in Reuters. Here it says Reuters. And, uh, you know, to make Switzerland look clean and innocent, they call it forced welfare. They call rape and child molesting forced welfare. Can you believe that? It's always the same. Now here it says, this is the name of the children slaves. The Verdinkinder or contract children. Go and have a look. Even in YouTube. And they never were paid. They never, they even stole their money. They, oh, it's total abuse. And the, the, uh, the children slaves were until 1989. 
and the uh, the four sterilizations together with Dr. Mengele. He was there doing it all as well. It, it went on until 1996, almost into the 21st century. So this is Switzerland. It's a perfect dictatorship, and the base of all evil. I showed it in my film Auschwitz Made in Switzerland how Dr. Mengele, he was there doing four sterilizations, which, which was his, um, his speciality, uh, doing it on gypsies in Auschwitz and in Switzerland in the 50s and the 60s. He was here all the time. And for political reasons, Swissy only puts innocent immigrants in prison and lie things together to put you away. While we immigrants read case after case of Swiss perverts in the newspapers. So there he is. He's just free, no problem, you know. They want to put me in prison, you know, Sean Ross. For filming a, a violent cop and all these pedophiles, you know, they they're like heroes in Switzerland. The Swiss love pedophiles, I tell you. Oh, what a horrible place here. Never has there been any immigrant, Turk, Muslim, or Yugoslav doing this these abominable things. Anyway, their own community would settle the score for good if they would. It's all the time, it's Swissy, Swissy, Swissy. So I hear this guy, he was just writing books about child porn. Incredible. I mean, look at him. This, this, this is Swiss, you know. And the judges are into it, you know, the police is defending it. What, what a rotten place it is here. Just as Swiss child molesters can't be put in prison together with the immigrants, because real manhood won't tolerate this sick Swiss evil. But manhood has almost been forbidden in the Western world, like here in Switzerland, and Swissy as sick as can be. So here you can read about a Swiss pedophile, and his, uh, his he wrote a book about how he's you know doing it with children. You won't believe it. The book it got financed by the the town of Zurich, by the city council, by the by the authorities. You know, <laughs> I told you the sisters of ISIS they want this. You know. To break people's souls uh, of, of, of children who, who might be too strong and uncontrollable, you know. So the, the town of Zurich, they finance his book. Can you believe it? This is Switzerland. They finance the book that pedophiles write. <laughs> Here's his book, you know, it shows a little girl here, in bed. What does it say? They live and they... It says children can be... can be hard. Oh, man, this, I told you, this country is so incredible sick. Uh, here's another one. Uh, this guy here, uh, Remo, he had sex with the uh, with his daughter-in-law. She was only 12 years old, and so the Swiss made this incest laws, you know. So now they even could get married, verheiratet here. So that means they are they are married. You know? Incest and uh, <laughs> you know pedophilia, and now they're married. Can you believe that? I mean, I've been together with my wife for, for 15 years, no kinky stuff or anything, you know. And uh, we got three children, just normal, and we can't get married. Can you believe this? 
Uh, this is Switzerland, you know. It's all upside down. Because I'm an immigrant. Here's another one, Swissy, another pedophile. He even went all the way to Cambodia. This is here, Cambodia. Uh, here with all the children. Well, there's some more horrible pictures in there. I don't even want to show that. Well, this is normal in Switzerland, you know. Why well, Swiss, you know? So. And the sisters of Isis like that. So th these all these all reason things going on, you know. What's this? 2015. It's all 2015. If if I would show them all, I, you know, this would be a a 24 hours video or more. And problem is, Swissy never comes alone. They always come in packs, like police gangs, Nazi packs, government crooks. This is the real Swiss direct democracy, with their Swiss militia defending the pedophiles. And as sick as it gets. Swiss servants, Satan's seed. One of my South American connections just sent me this video with some dumbed down music for our children repeating a hundred times Can you see now? Can you see now? Can you see now? Yes, I see now Lil Wayne. I see you flying in a Swiss airliner with the Swiss Templars cross and Swiss flag on it and flying all your money to that base of the financial elite in the Alps with those snow-topped mountains. And I see you, Lil Wayne, being part of that worldwide Swiss family with whom you hold hands. I see you now, Lil Wayne, you're Swiss white inside, an African brown outside, a white nigger from the Alps, spreading bad habits for all little Africans and whiteies too, with one million Swiss Americans currently in the USA controlling all key positions. I see you now, Lil Wayne, doing the Templars V with your Swiss family. And out of the Swiss Templars came the worldwide Masons, like MS standing for Mason and the 13 Osiris number for the obelisk, the Phallus, 13th part. Eh, Nicky Minage, with your pants down? And MS-13 standing at the playground pushing poison to our children. Dope they got from MS-13 Masons like CIA Cocaine Import Agency. I see you now. Subliminal now. Pyramids. Devils. I see through it all. I'm not senile as in your title. I see your Swiss connection, Lil Wayne. The financial center of the world and drug center of Europe. Octagon Switzerland with all rappers and MS-13 drug dealers having a Swiss bank account, leaving our ruined children at the merry-go-round. I see you now, Lil Wayne. Switzerland, Swiss airplane, Swiss flag, Swiss cross, the Alps, Swiss family, financial elite. MS-13 Masons, Drugs, Evil, Swiss Servants, Satan's Seed.